Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove background noise from your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro with ease. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, let's hop straight into it. And I've got a couple of videos from my friend Nick Nimmin. Make sure to type his name into YouTube and check out his channel. It is awesome. Uh, now, I've got a simple denoise here. It's filmed out on the street. And this one's got a little bit of wind and rumble and stuff going on. But let's start with the denoise. It's a typical thing, filming on the street. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public. Lots and lots of road noise, traffic noise, all of that kind of stuff. So the simplest way to work on removing background noise is going to the audio workspace. It's up here at the top in Premiere Pro. And you want to select the audio track just here and mark it as dialogue. This will open up the most important section here, repair. When we open this up, we've got a number of different things that we can fade in and out to change the background noise. And in this example, it's a simple reduce noise. We can start the slider at zero, which means no background noise reduction applied. And we can push it all the way up to 10, which is, of course, 100% background noise reduction. Let's listen to the difference. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public. And, and as you can hear, the further I push that dial up, the further it removes the background noise. Let's try again. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear. Now, notice when I get it to 100%, it kind of takes something out of the voice. So you kind of have to dial that in to a reasonable level where it's removing background noise, but not destroying the voice too much. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear. Maybe somewhere in the middle. And if you had some music underneath as well, that would pretty much clean up pretty much 80 to 90% of your background noise. But that's not always the case. Sometimes we have other stuff going on, uh, like wind noise. And this is a perfect example here. Let's keep those existing settings and bring in this video. Your competition, looking at them as allies instead of, you know. OK, so we got some background rumble, some wind, stuff like that. Again, we'll select the audio track here. Mark it as dialogue, still working in this audio workspace here. And we can try some of the reducing rumble, the hum uh, and all of these good stuff here to see exactly what happens. Let's start with reduced noise again. Your competition, looking at them as allies. Maybe we'll put 1.9 on that, reduce the rumble. Let's try this from 0 to 10. Instead of, you know, these competitors, these people that are. And then de-hum will also come doing in. Doing things differently than me, these people that are taking my audience. And as you can hear, the further I push de-hum up, the more of a kind of low end roll off it's doing which is exactly what we need when we've got wind. So as well as the rumble, I've actually found de-hum to work quite well uh, with tracks that have wind in particular as their background noise. Like them, the existence. And let's just remind ourselves that we started off with something that sounded like this. Your competition, looking at And we apply all allies. of these. Instead of, you know, these competitors, these people that are A much cleaner sound of voice. So I think you'll agree that sounds good. But of course, through some of this process, the repair process over here in Essential Sound, we've lost a little bit of quality in the voice. So let's try and put that back in. And in my experience, I found the EQ setting down here to be pretty helpful. And one of my favorite boosts for the voice is actually podcast voice. And again, we can just scroll down and start to ramp this up to enhance the voice a little bit. They're doing things differently than me. These people that are taking my audience. And I can also click enhance speech like them. And I can bring in low tone. See here some of the low tone that we've lost from the voice them as allies instead of, you know, these competitors. So now we have a little bit of subtle EQ on the voice. We also have enhanced speech and this is working really well. So not only so far in this tutorial have we removed street sounds, wind, rumble, you name it, all using a few easy features over here in Essential Sound in Adobe Premiere Pro. I also wanted to introduce you to another tool that I've started using quite a bit and it's Descript. And this is absolutely phenomenal, the kind of stuff it can do. You can check them out at mrc.fm forward 
slash AI. Let's play that video again. I've imported it to Descript. This is a completely free service to use, by the way, uh, for this kind of process. And you're going to be mind blown here. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of... So there's Nick speaking on a busy street. They have a fantastic technology called Studio Sound. You can work this on videos. You can import the videos and then just run this process. Now, I ran it earlier so that we don't have a delay in processing time. It takes a couple of minutes and then you go from something that's busy and street sounding to something like this. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public. It Amazing. So can we just remind ourselves, let's start without studio sound. I'm going to tell you how Switch to overcome on. the fear of vlogging in public. And, and now this is a different kind of technology because it's using artificial intelligence to enhance the voice and get rid of background noise. So unlike traditional noise reduction, you're not actually impacting the voice at all. You are rebuilding it. And this technology it can work particularly well on really old recordings as well, or scratch your recordings or recordings that you really thought you couldn't restore. So go and check out Descript at mrc.fm forward slash AI and also enjoy using some of those really easy to use features inside the essential sound panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Music Radio Creative.com